Local drivers waiting months to get their cars repaired has become a big problem impacting local repair shops and consumers, costing big money and time. Yeah, and tonight, WLWT investigates what's behind the extensive delays and when it might finally get better for you. Investigative reporter Jatera McKee joining us with what you need to know if this happens to you. A local family reached out to me after waiting more than nine months for their vehicle to be repaired. I started digging into what the holdup could be, and then we found out they are far from the only ones. There's plenty of work to do at Mount Washington Motors on Batavia Road. There's also quite a few broken down vehicles that may have overstayed their welcome. You might need one part just to get started on the car, and if it's on back order, that car just sits and sits. Brian Hendersman is the shop manager. He estimates the number of cars in need of parts on back order may have doubled since pre-2020. Door handles, door glass, uh, trunk lids, uh, door shells, yeah, headlights. The wait times are much longer than they used to be. And I tell everyone up front that uh, I have no idea when your car is going to be done. At least one SUV has been waiting here six months for a part. Brooklyn Klein has been waiting even longer. I'm paying for a car that I am not driving as well as the insurance. The 25 year old rear ended someone on the Big Mac Bridge last June. For nine months, her Honda HRV sat at a repair shop in the Amelia area waiting on a driver's side seatbelt. She gets a claim status letter every month from her insurance company. Dear Brooklyn Klein, we are writing to update you on the status of the claim listed above. We expect this will be resolved in 30 days or sooner. And that is every single month. Not only making payments on the car, she pays for the insurance for it to just sit there. About $550 a month for a car she can't drive. It's ridiculous. I am I'm beyond frustrated. The whole family is Brooklyn, her mom, grandpa, and grandma, whose car she's been borrowing all this time. I don't see how there's not one seatbelt available in the United States. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand that. I feel sorry for her. Honda tells WNWT we are aware that seatbelts for some models are currently in short supply due to a third party supplier issue. We are actively working with the supplier to increase the supply of these parts and hope to see improvements soon. But Honda isn't alone. It's an unprecedented uh, disruption. Chuck Sox is an associate dean and professor of operations and business analytics at UC. He says the automobile industry is complex, which is why it's taking longer to recover pandemic just really blew things out of the water. The industry really needs a chance to sort of catch its breath. Sox says manufacturers are prioritizing brand new cars. There has to be what's called, called an allocation decision. But manufacturers are, are trying to prioritize these component parts for the, the finished vehicles. We showed you this aerial view of the Kentucky Speedway two years ago. Rows of Ford trucks parked due to the global microchip shortage. Multiple thousands are temporarily stored here until, well, somebody please pass the chips. President Joe Biden signed the Chips and Science Act last year to strengthen supply chains. In Ohio, Intel is investing billions into a new chip factory. Those are long-term solutions. My car was in the shop after an accident for three months. Sox doesn't have a cheat code, just an expert opinion that it could be another two years before things stabilize. Back at the shop, shortages are showing no signs of slowing down. It might be Honda one week, it'll be GM another week, it'll be Toyota another week. They will give you dates as best they can and half the time they're wrong. One of the longest waits? Seatbelts. Um, we had a car that was here for probably six or eight months, a little Honda Civic. That customer worked with his insurance company, which allowed the repair shop to install an aftermarket seat belt. Brooklyn and her family called their repair shop, customer service, and several Honda manufacturing plants all summer, fall, and winter. Well, that's why I called you to find out, because we're at dead ends. I reached out to Honda early spring. 11 days later, Brooklyn picked up her car, fastened her new seat belt, and turned the key for the first time in nine months. One positive thing is the mileage is staying down on it. <laughs> so if your repair is waiting on a part on back order,
talk to your insurance company. Ask if they'll allow a repair shop to install an aftermarket part. You may have to sign some additional documents in order to make that happen. And remember to document everything, dates, times, who you spoke with, and the numbers attached to any complaints or customer inquiries that you file. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5. Good taken, information. We've talked to so many people who have had the same problem. Yeah, taken so long for people to get yeah. anything done. You wonder how anything's moving along. Hey, let's get over to Kevin. Talk.